This is the new Volkswagen Multivan, and it's what Volkswagen wants you to buy instead of a full-size SUV such as a Land Rover Discovery or Volvo XC90. To tempt you away from these off-roaders, it's got bold styling, acres of interior space, and loads of high-tech gadgets. In essence, the new Volkswagen Multivan is the replacement for the Caravelle, and with its new name comes new underpinnings. It is no longer based on the Volkswagen Transporter that the Caravelle was based on. It's got more in common with a Volkswagen Golf than it does your plumber's company vehicle. Volkswagen wants to fit its biggest people carrier with all the latest tech and give it more of a car-like driving experience instead of a van. Which is why you've got some car-like design cues on the outside, including a more pronounced bonnet than the old Caravelle had, plus these headlights with a light bar linking them up, just like on the Golf. Together with the optional two-tone paint, this is a pretty smart looking vehicle and it does a very good job of hiding the fact that it is essentially a big box on wheels. There's two different body lengths to choose from, two different trim levels and petrol, diesel or hybrid. The one we have here is entry level life trim with the 218 horsepower hybrid drivetrain and it comes in at just over £48,000. The diesel model is around £5,000 cheaper. Is also the shorter of the two body lengths, shorter being relative here because it still manages to fill every inch of a standard supermarket car space. Park it against a wall and opening this massive tailgate is going to be an issue, but you can always drive into a space forwards, while the sliding doors on either side of the cabin mean access is never really a problem for passengers. And provided you can open the boot, inside there is a very flexible interior waiting for you. Like this, there's 469 litres of boot space if you go all the way up to the roof. And if you get rid of the third row of seats, there's 1,844 litres of boot space. And if you remove them all, well, apart from the two at the front, you know, the driver's seat and the passenger seat, remove all of the other seats and there's 3,672 litres. And it's not just the space you get inside either, it's the sheer flexibility of it. Each of the seats in rows two and three slides backwards and forwards, folds or can be removed entirely. A major advantage of that big boxy shape is that you get loads of space, even in the third row. And if you'd like more leg room, you can have it because that's on a runner. And if you would like somewhere to put your cup, you've got that too, I'm there. Up here, there are two seats rather than three, and they're even better appointed. I'm just gonna get myself in here like this and just make it a little more comfortable. There we go. So we've got an armrest and maybe the best bit of the entire interior. Slide this and it is the center console for the front seats and a storage unit. And for someone who loves their food, like me, part-time picnic table. Do bear in mind though that when shifting seats around, make sure the correct seat goes back into the correct side of the car. Otherwise, you'll find the seat belt socket on the wrong side of your chair. Up front, you certainly won't accidentally sit in the wrong seat. And once here, you'll be very comfortable. Both driver and passenger get captain style seats with armrests that you can adjust like so to be just right. Anyway, although there's no electric adjustment, you should be able to find a comfortable driving position because there's plenty of manual adjustment. Talking of the driving position, this is where the multivan's relationship with the Golf starts to become more evident. You still sit very high up, but the positioning of the steering wheel is much more like you'll find in a car than in a sit up and beg commercial vehicle. And one of the main benefits of using Volkswagen car technology is you get plenty of high tech kits. There's adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking, front and rear parking sensors, and a reversing camera. There's also, unfortunately, the same fussy infotainment screen that you get in the latest Volkswagen, such as the Golf and ID3. That means no physical volume and heater controls, they're just unlit touchpads. That's less of a frustration in top spec style models, which have three zone digital climate control, so you can just set the temperature and forget about it. But with this lower life model, you have to set it manually. And with that means you will probably have to keep adjusting it. And with that means more frustration. While we're on the subject of niggles, the build quality of the cabin isn't especially impressive, although the design certainly looks good. 
Oh, and there are oodles of storage spaces. So there's two glove boxes, one down here, and one up here, and there's more storage here. You know, I really am missing my bananas now, but I've eaten them all. And two cup holders here, and three cup holders here. So the Volkswagen Multivan really can transport seven people, their stuff, and their drinks. The first thing to note in this hybrid powered model is how smooth and effortless the power delivery is. If you're trying to get a hurry on away from a set of traffic lights or down a motorway slip road, then it becomes obvious that this is a big vehicle powered by a small engine. This thing will only just manage a sub 10 second 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint after all. But for the most part, the combination of electric motor and petrol engine mean cruising around at a decent lick is pretty effortless business. And then when you're driving around town, providing you have enough battery charge, you can glide around on electric power only. The plug-in hybrid version also makes a lot of sense as a company car because of the tax breaks you get, and provided you have somewhere to plug it in. A word of warning though, the maximum 29 mile electric only range is great if you do lots of short hops, but if you regularly do long journeys, it isn't really enough to make the multivan overall very fuel efficient. And what's more, with no fast onboard charger, you can't do those quick charge ups on the hop either. That being said, on a 55 mile round trip that started with a full battery, we saw overall fuel economy of 60 miles per gallon. But on longer journeys, you can expect that to be more like 40 to 45 miles per gallon. Now that's not bad, but no better than a two litre turbo diesel version can manage. On twisty country roads, you can definitely feel this is a tall, heavy car. And although there's a lot of body lean, there's actually a surprising amount of grip. The ride isn't all that great though. It's not overly firm, but the big body does shimmy and shake more than you'd expect. And it sometimes sends a weird bassy vibration through the cabin. That's not something you tend to get in a modern large SUV. Okay. Let's be clear about one thing. The Volkswagen Multivan isn't without its flaws. Some of our gripes, such as the fiddly infotainment system, is common across other Volkswagen models, while others are exclusive to this car, such as the fidgety ride. That said, it's a fantastically flexible car and it is much more spacious than an equivalent large SUV. For a big family, it makes an awful lot of sense. Just make sure you get the diesel one if you're going to do a lot of long journeys. But what do you reckon? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you're considering buying a Volkswagen Multivan or indeed any car, head to cargurus.co.uk to find loads of great deals from top rated dealers.